But would you would you like would you like it to be a point where now we can kind of see the stand up comics grace the stage and have a couple of you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I think, and you know this better than anyone else does, if we can laugh at something, if we can entertain the masses and take something that's serious, and again, kind of make sure that people are at least uh, chuckling about not the serious nature of it all, but just letting their hair down, and loosening up a little bit. Isn't isn't that what comedy was? Haven't we kind of escaped that a little bit? That's what America was yeah. for the longest time. Right. Now you can't really make a joke about anything. I mean, you know, how many how many of my Seinfeld episodes would have been nixed by a network? You know, it's 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 pretty painful. I do, you know, I do stand up. I just started doing it like four or five years ago, and uh, right. I'm really looking forward to getting back. But I'm also a little worried about where the lines are. It's uh, well. Let me ask you this: You said you've been getting back at it. Have there been? Not any reservations, but any kind of red flags about content or places you can't really go in your act, in your material? Um, you know, I purposely throw in a few jokes that are like on the edge just to check it out. You know, like um, I was doing this joke about um, going to the Museum of Tolerance in Los Angeles. And, you know, I kind of like softened it up at first by, right, you know, right. they, you know, by saying that I can't believe they've never had an exhibit devoted to lactose. <laughs> but then, you know, like I say that there was um, yeah. there was an exhibit about, you know, about Islam. And right. I, you know, and I kind of realized that it's actually a very beautiful religion. Yeah. And you can't let 75 million bad apples spoil the whole bunch. 